Good morning and welcome to Carnation Crafts. We are live in the Carnation Crafts TV studios and as ever it is wonderful to have your company. So today we are here with my absolute favourite collection. It has always been my favourite collection and it is Crafty Little Things but they have re-inspired it, rejigged it, they have given us a brand new colourway. Uh, for those of you who caught the Facebook live yesterday you'll be able to see it in much better colour today because my lighting was a little bit dodgy. Um, but it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And what I love is, as because like I say, it's my favourite collection, I now get to play with it in different ways. It's got a dynamic card shape to it, which is just incredible. If you have never seen this collection before, you are going to fall hopelessly in love with it. Good morning, Shelley. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Karen. You are I was going to say you're all up bright and early, but actually it's 11 o'clock, so uh, maybe not. But my child has just woken up. It's very early for Miss Taz, uh, who is also like one of my children. Uh, so Pam says, good morning, Carla, Claire and Taz. So hello to everybody. So yeah, we've got crafty little things. It's stunning, this collection. There's something about it. And I don't quite know why it makes my heart sing as much as it does, but it really does. Jill says, morning, Carla. Excited for this one, Jill. Me too. I... Honestly, Jan, hello. I can't tell you how much I love this. I've always said it. You'll, for If you've known me for any length of time, it's always been the one. Good morning, Mary. She says, good morning, Carla, and all of the team. Right, so what is the new colourway? Well, for those of you who remember the original colourway for Crafty Little Things, it was... Uh, kind of very soft pink tones. We're gonna to show you the Perfect Papers in a minute. That's the original Perfect Papers and it'll give you an idea of what that original colorway was. Some of you will already own it. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Sue. Um, so some of you will already know that colorway and you'll be comfortable with it. You'll have been working with it. There's also the backing papers that match as well as always with Carnation and they're beautiful backing papers. I was saying yesterday, um, the wallpapers and stuff that you get, they look like wallpapers for crafty little things work beautifully with comfort of home you can bring the two of them together so get your old collections out and start using them hi linda from sheffield to let you know today's show price then is 99.99 for the full collection free uk p and p however carnation have gone to town on this one and they're giving you a discount code today that discount code is clt20 so crafty little things 20 please be sure to do that in capitals that's going to give you 20 percent discount today and they never do that. It's always 10% discount. You've got 20% discount on Crafty Little Things, which is insane. So that's 79.99. That was Taz shaking the camera. Not me vibrating, just in case anybody was wondering. So 70, you've got 19 pounds 99 off. Is that what you're saying? No? You've got four split pays of 19.99. I don't understand what she's saying when she does the little hand signals. Um, so she has, uh, yeah, we've got all of that discount for you today. That's a massive discount. And the reason it's so good on Crafty Little Things, as Claire's going to explain to you in a minute, is how much you get in this collection. It's huge. This collection is massive. So it, you're getting so many dies. Now, remember with the dies, yes, they are a collection, but they work independently and Crafty Little Things more so than any of the others because we've got gorgeous things like the lamp here, which is my favorite. I love that so much. That on its own, you're going to use again and again and again throughout your crafting. You've also got things like reels of ribbon, which is just in front of me here. I won't destroy the set. That is a, a boon. That's it. Always sells out. That one. I, it, it seems to sing to people. Um, and Miss Taz is saying the discount is across crafty little things for twenty percent off. So on top of that, we also have a smaller bundle. If you are a mouse fan, and lots of you are a huge mouse fan, mice fan, mouse fan, fan of the mice, the bottom row, tools of the trade, and the mice. Okay. The, so we're starting, is that right Taz? We're starting with the mice here and we go across this way to Tools of the Trade. That is one small bundle. So it doesn't include the last two, but these four across here. That's a smaller bundle for you to be able to get. It's called the Crafted Little Mice Collection. It's got a show price of 44 97 295 PMP. Remember your 20% discount, CLT20. And that will get, take it down to 35 97 today, which is an enormous discount. So beautiful, beautiful collection. On top of that we also have things like your perfect papers and I'm going to introduce those in a little while. We'll we'll have a look at some uh, bits and bats. The thing I want to talk to you first about is the fact we've got three 
different perfect papers for this collection. Now, they're all perfect papers you may have seen before, but they have um, kind of worked out which ones go brilliantly with the new colorway. So you've got your original perfect papers, which we'll go to in a second. There you go. Thank you, Miss Taz. That's your originals. Perfect papers are cardstock. They are not paper. It's 300 GSM. In every pack, you get six colors and you get eight of each color. And this is your original one. That's on 201129 with a show price of 1499 295 PMP. Am I right in thinking, Taz, that you would get your 20% on that? Everything that is crafty little things, whether it's your papers, dies, or any vignettes that are not free. Yeah, so you'll get it right across the board. So remember any additional colorways as well that have got a little price point on it. If it's crafty little things, you're going to get 20%. It's huge. 20% is huge. On top of that, what they have done, like I say, is found ones that go with the new collection, which will be perfect papers you might already have in your stash, but it gives you a good like memory thing, doesn't it? Okay, these go. So the a little bit fancy papers, look at these colors. These go with the new collection perfectly. So you might already have them. If not, they're available on the website, but they go perfectly with the brand new colorway for crafty little things. So that's one collection. So write these down so you can remember and you can go back to it at home and have a look through your stash, see if you've still got some of these papers. So a little bit fancy and the gift of giving. So again, those colorways that just work. Now, why do they work so well? I'm gonna go through samples with you in a second, but see how this works? Those colors together. Beautiful, right? Perfect. Perfect papers. That's why they're perfect papers, because they are perfect for all of your, your, your stuff. So they're all gonna be on the website as well. Make sure you go and have a look and have a good ferret through the website. It'll give you everything you need. I'm just gonna look at some comments and then we are going to start getting on with the board so you can see what you're getting. So Soph says, good morning. She's doing it, hope you're okay. Week four of legs in bandages. I do, however, love the fireplace. We all love the, that magic fireplace is just knockout right think of the little mice how they can pop down uh, Liz says morning Carla looking forward to the new inspiration absolutely oh they just did a, a, a little jump Eileen I keep you you keep jumping I don't know if you're jumping at home Eileen but you're jumping on my computer morning lovely ladies I need cheering up so I know you never let me down Carla yeah I will try <laughs> it's usually because I'm doing something stupid uh, Sue says woohoo I so love CC's mouses. Morning, Carla and Taz. So lovely to be with you today. And Mary says, good morning from Virginia, US. Is this collection a remake of the older one? Mary, it is. So the dyes are the same, um, but they have redone the colorway on it. So we now get two choices. And Crafty Little Things is always going to be that card that you make for somebody really special. It, they're just gorgeous. But then when you start bringing in the dyes for your 8x8s and those sort of things, your, your sort of more standard form cards, it's just amazing. Claire is going to show you how to use the wardrobe mechanism um, and that'll kind of be her first demo and then she'll go on to do two other demos but in the meantime Miss Claire is going to show you the boards. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning. <laughs> how are you? All right? I'm okay. I'm okay. Lovely. Marvellous. Marvellous. Shall we look at these boards then? Let's have a little look. So we'll start off with the dynamic card shape then as you can see here which is just Awesome. I have enjoyed playing with this so much. It's like so much fun. Um, if you're looking at this thinking, how, how does this all kind of work? Don't worry. Don't worry. I will show you. And it is super, super easy to do. Let's just move it just there so you can kind of see a bit better. Right. We've got an outline die, of course, to cut the card shape, which I will show you in a little more detail in a moment. Uh, but you've also got all this kind of lacy kind of front panels to decorate your wardrobe, your crafty cupboards. Um, you've also got your little flourishes that you can pop on the top of there, you know, to kind of, die, um, to kind of uh, decorate it there as well. Um, you've got all your metal kind of um, pieces here, so like your, your door handles, you know, uh, the hinges. Uh, you've got these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Look at that and look at the colourway on that now. How different is that again? Um, so, so beautiful. Really loving these colours. These are kind of my kind of favourite go-to colours. I mean, I am a fan of pink, so you know. Uh, but really, really loving that. And just think of what you can do with this as well. You can use this in so many ways as well as decorating your wardrobe, your crafty cupboard. Uh, you've got the door panels here as well, of course. A beautiful kind of 
grey blue shade would you say um, and all this lovely cut detail look at all this as well just so 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 pretty uh, to really kind of give you that wood effect and the decoration of those uh, doors uh, the little drawers as well which we'll see how that kind of slots into the card as well and pops out uh, so you can mice can kind of be uh, hanging off of them and having great fun uh, and they do have great fun this collection they are just awesome I'm loving the mice <laughs> Big, big fan. Eileen says she's definitely <laughs> not jumping up and down at home because that would be far too energetic. I entirely agree with you, Eileen. You sit there with a brew. Just chill. Just chill. <laughs> um, so we've got the little mice here, the start of the little mice anyway. Um, I feel like this guy's kind of like just, you know, very, very busy. A bit like me in the morning, actually, when I'm about to do school run. You know what I mean? I'm running around trying to find everything for the little person. Um, this little mouse here is kind of like, I feel like he's looking around, just kind of checking that nobody's watching. You know what I mean? Nobody's watching what he's up to. He's up to mischief. Uh, and this one's just like having a little sneak and a little nosy I think at, at what's kind of going on and you've got your little ribbon there as well and then these little mice again little different characters for you to use just think how you can use these in so many different ways you can use them with other collections of course they can pop up uh, and in your cards that you're designing uh, this little mouse here he looks like he's really concentrating you know what I mean he's really concentrating on doing something maybe he's doing a little bit of artwork that's painting or something, you pop a little paintbrush there. Uh, this little mouse here, he's he's kind of organising. He's the organising mouse. Is there somebody in your life that's the organiser? I feel like I sometimes am in our house uh, making sure everything gets done. But yeah, little organiser mouse there with his little glasses on as well, making sure that he's got everything on his list. Uh, this little mouse, what, what's he doing? What's what's he going to be like pulling up from from out of the maybe the crafty cupboard uh, on your card? What can you can you put there? You could put all different kind of things. Here that could be holding uh, and then you've got your little pencil as well there so your other mice here so many things you can do with these mice uh, this one uh, is obviously doing something with glue by the looks of it he's got his little bit of paper here uh, he's about to make something with all this glue that he's got to glue together um, your little mouse here measuring up something maybe get about to make a little outfit <laughs> uh, this one's carrying lots by the looks of it isn't he so what could you pop in his little hands there uh, maybe some little pens uh, pencils paint brushes um, of course you've got your little brush as well and then on here you've got lots and lots of accessories which I just think are so great with your mice because you can do again so many different things you could create so many different cards couldn't you I mean you could make a card for a builder maybe in your life because you've got a little hard hat there perhaps and a little tool belt as well for your mouse so you know what I mean a little builder maybe or if you've got a joiner in your life you know you could perhaps get um, your spirit level you could uh, pop a little card together for someone who does joinery um, Lots of different ways that you could use all these little accessories, isn't it, with your mice or even separately. Uh, maybe if you've got a decorator in your house, you could do a, a little paint pot and a, a little um, paintbrush there. But yeah, you've got all your crafty tools as well, scissors, your everyday glue. Have you seen that? We've got our everyday glue, yes, <laughs> there as well for the mice to use, which is very important. Uh, so plenty of little things that you can use here. I love the little hats. I just think they are just super cute. If you cover up the label on the everyday glue uh, when you're crafting with it and you can then use it as a baby bottle in uh, the Bundles of Joy collection, just so you know. Another way you can use it. Another way. Another way. <laughs> Um, then we've got this, uh, which is obviously uh, sewing. You've got all your little pins there, your little needles. Uh, you've got your buttons there, your tape measure. You know, plenty of little things here, your little bobbin. Uh, so somebody that loves doing some sewing, that's perfect, perfect for them. Uh, then if somebody likes knitting, maybe. My uh, auntie loves knitting. She knits every year, <laughs> like um, a scarf, um, some gloves and also a hat. Uh, for my little boy so I'm definitely going to be using this for a card for her because she'll absolutely love this again you've got your little mat to put underneath uh, or your lovely uh, wall there that you've got your little basket which is very very lovely isn't it we've got here of course ribbons Carla mentioned before very very popular right very very yeah, popular all of these dies are available individually um, if if this is the one that you want then that's obviously it's the time to go now because that's the one that always sells out everyone loves reels of ribbon I mean obviously it's beautiful right um, and it's incredibly evocative, but that is uh, just fair warning. It goes fast. The colours as well in, the, in this artwork is just so fabulous. Nick and the creative team done a, a smashing job again. Um, just so, so, so beautiful. I'm loving all these lilacs and that. Of course, your, your artwork you can get from the website, the vignettes you can uh, print off of there, carnationcrafts.co.uk. Um, here we've got a little pen pot. 
uh, to pop on your desk maybe if you're doing a little desk card. Further on we've got obviously uh, your light as well so you can really make kind of a little desk scene if you wanted to. Little ribbon, little stapler there. Again you've got um, your mats or your layers as well to put underneath there as well. Uh, I like this sentiment and I feel like a lot of us can kind of <laughs> relate to this because I've said this many a time to the hubby, not messy, creative because you know when your space is kind of a little bit kind of creative uh, that kind of is the thing isn't it do you know what I mean? I'm messy and creative, messy. I, I'm hands up, I would have to cut off the not and just put messy, creative. Messy, creative, I like that. But this, of course, like again, you can pop this kind of as part of your scene. You know, you've got your little cup there, or your little bits and bobs kind of there as well, haven't you? Um, you know, paints and paint brushes, plenty of uh, creative things there, and your mats and layers, of course, there as well. Um, you've got your mannequins here and your easel. So many things that you can do with this, and I like the fact that there's so much kind of character with this one here, kind of posing and like you know, um, sort of. It's just so great. These are there's so much you can do with that. Um, whether you're using it maybe for somebody who likes dressmaking or whether you're you're using it from an arty kind of um, perspective but yeah really really cool uh, and then I was just mentioning about this and I know Carla is a fan of this whole collection but I know you really like this one don't you it's my favorite I love this I don't it's know lovely. why I absolutely love this dye I, it, it, there's something about it I don't know what I maybe I had a lamp like that when I was a child I don't know but it just sings to me every time I had a desk lamp like that actually when I was when I was little on my homework desk, um, but yeah, I really like that. It's, it's it's just really smart, isn't it? And and like I say, you can use that behind. You've got all of these lovely um, little, little plant pot. I say all of these lovely plant pots because you've got this plant pot here, and then you can decide which plant you kind of want. You know, can mix and match kind of thing depending on what you want to use. Uh, very into my plants at the moment. In fact, just bought one quite similar to this. I think it's an, an aloe vera, aloe vera plant. I'm, I still don't know the names of it. Yes. I'm asking you. Of all people, you're asking me the name of a plant, which seems ridiculous to anyone watching. It's get a green one. A green plant. It's a green one that's a bit prickly. That's all I know. Uh, a Pixar lamp, yes, it has got that element to it, hasn't it? It's funny enough, this is of no interest to anybody at all, but um, the first time I ever went to the Carnation HQ, Crafty Little Things was in production and I was, it's the first one I ever saw pre-production and um, just fell in love with it and it's just stayed with me. Sue is saying, can you remind me of the perfect papers that go with this collection? I think you said there are two, bear with me, there's three. There's Crafty Little Things, the original, that still fits in with this colourway. So that is your original pa uh, papers that come with it. And you possibly have those in your stash already. Then on top of that, we've got the gift of giving so what i will say is possibly the best thing you can do is just note these down jot them down and go and see if you've still got them in your collection so the gift of giving is the other one and then the third one is a up i'm going to get myself into a right bother here is a little bit fancy a little bit fancy the gift of giving and also crafty little things Listen though guys, if you start going through your stashes of perfect papers, you're always going to find that some fit with different collections. You'll be able to see it. You can see the colourways coming through. So these are a guideline for you to use, but whip through your collections and see which ones come up. Uh, hey Tina, how are you doing? I'm going to show you some card samples, um, but just to remind you, the number for this today is 2011... Oh no, I did not say this before because I would know that I'd got into a tangle with this. 2011... 1115. There's three ones because I'm going to end up saying that wrong. There's three ones. 201115. You'll find this on the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. So type in crafty little things. You need to go to downloads, free downloads, crafty little things, and it will come up and you'll be able to see all of the PDFs. And you're going to download those. So you check out with them, and then you will be able to uh, go through checkout. And remember, when you're going through checkout, to put in CLT20. That's going to give you a 20% discount. Taz has just told me that discount is on the papers and on the dies. And it goes across the board that way. I don't know if it does do your other colorways. We're, 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 we're trying to work it out. Karen, very good, very true, Karen. Karen says, I think elegant al fresco might go too. I think you're absolutely right. I think it will. Um, it, it's, it's just a case of going through. And this is the same every time that you're working with Carnation because lots of those papers will come in. And it might be that not all six 
you know, colours in a certain pack will go with the collection that you're working with, but probably two or three colours will. So you get to use them, you know, don't just think that everything has to be by collection in the same way that your dyes aren't by collection. I've said it so many times, I'll say it again, Carnation are a building brick system. These, every time they bring out a new collection, it's an add-on to Before the Rainbow. Before the Rainbow was their first ever collection and everything they've done since then, it's a bolt-on to that one collection. So this isn't about having you know, a hundred different collections, it's about having one massive collection of dyes that will see you through your crafting. So, you know, I, I try and work it out that way because it, it, it sort of spurs me on to use dyes that are older in the collection that I might not have used for a while. We always want customers to use the dyes, they're usable. Uh, right, so as I was saying, sorry, the number for this one is 201115CLT20 in capitals is a discount of 20% today. It's massive. $2.95 on your postage and packing if your order is under £50. If it's over £50, uh, it's free. If you're in the US, your postage or your shipping and handling is £4.95 for this collection. If you want to add in one pack of Perfect Papers, they'll do your shipping and handling for £14.95 which is super cheap, but that is only for one pack of papers. You can't put in a hundred packs and it be that price. It is one pack and then the full collection. So I hope that helps with all of the info that you need. Remember, you need to go to the Carnation Crafts website, www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. Your show price today is 99.99. You will get a 20% discount if you put in CLT 20. It's gonna take it right down. Taz did tell me, I can't remember. 79.99. 79.99, that's, that's why they pay her the big money because she remembers the things. Right, let me show you some samples. So, what is Crafty Little Things? It's a wardrobe mechanism on the whole. This is the dynamic card shape. This is the back of it. So you see we've got the two little drawers glued into those tabs. You just see that there. And what that means is when you shut the wardrobe, the little drawers at the front come out. And I'll show you that. You can see how they're going in and out there. And so at the front of that, the way that works, just let me make sure I haven't got that pushed too far down. So at the front of the card, as you shut it, you see the little drawers? It's so clever. It just makes me happy. Look at that. Is that not the cleverest thing? I love this collection so much. But the new colorway, sorry, that's probably what I'm supposed to be showing you. I just get very excited with the card shape. Look at that. Now what I want to show you on this one as well is the dynamic shaping of that rose panel. Can you see how that's raised? Use your pin flare or use your foam tape and raise those roses. They look beautiful. Try and use a ball tool if you can just to scoop them out, pop some pin flare in there. It will give you this beautiful rotund shape. It's not the only thing that we can make. So that was, sorry, I should say that was Lindsay's. This one is Sue's. Look at this. Ah, we're upside down. Is that right? Yes. The sticker was upside down. Okay. And again, we've got that wardrobe mechanism there where the drawers just ping out. Beautiful, right? It's clever beyond. This is clever beyond. You're going to make these for the very special people in your life. If you don't want to make the dynamic card shape, what else can you do? Well, we can do our eights by eights. How beautiful is that? I love that stripy wallpaper. That's your backing papers. Go and grab them. Again, comfort of home. Think of the wallpapers for comfort of home. That's gorgeous, that card, isn't it? I love those roses in the corner. That's Lindsay's, the one previous was Sue's. <coughs> I will just do you a couple more and then we're gonna to go to demo. So, back in papers here. I've got too much in my hand, I can't, I can't. There's too much going on. Right, here we go. Not messy creative, this is Sue's. Look at that, if that is not storytelling, I don't know what is. Crazy awesome, right? Just insanely beautiful. I love how we play with that easel and put little things on there so that we can create this story that goes through. The DT samples are amazing. The DT team are amazing. Thank you, a massive, massive thank you to the DT. It, it makes all of the difference for us when we are uh, working together. Um, Mr. Taz, 
which is Taz's dad. Hello, Mr. Taz. Says, hi, lady, the lamp reminds me of the Pixar uh, films lamp. Love the mice. Absolutely. It's got all of that kind of evocative element to it. It's just so pretty. We're going to go over to Claire to do a demo. Now, the first demo is just going to be looking at that dynamic card shape and how it puts together. So probably not decorating it. I don't know, Claire, no, no. but probably not decorating it, just showing you how to do it because it's a longer demo. And then we will go through and we've got another two demos for afterwards. Hopefully we fit all of that in. So we're going to head over to her now uh, and watch the inspiration. Right then, let's show you this awesome card love it so much and it's just so easy to do it really is so i've got my dies here the metal dies just to show you kind of where you place things before you put it through your cutting machine just to just to show you quick um, it is really simple to do like i say so we've got our outline die here this is another another little bit here if i just move this to the side for a moment um, so we're getting this this piece like so and then what you needed to do before you pop it through uh, and cut your card is get this one here that looks a bit like that and then we're going to pop it right up to this edge as close as can be um, before you're putting it through uh, and cutting it. So you're going to be popping it just like that. So super simple to, to do that, isn't it, really? Can I just explain that the reason that that's a separate die is because you might not want to use it as a dynamic card shape. So it gives you the choice. You can go either way. So they kept it separate so you have a choice. Yeah, you've got plenty of options, haven't you, with yeah. this? That's that's a good thing with it, because the other thing that you can do, which is pretty cool, I'll show you in a minute how this kind of all then goes together. So you're going to be cutting this twice, uh, this piece uh, of inked card, and then if you want to, what you can do with what Carla was just saying, you know, th there's options here. If you want to, you can add more drawers, because this is where your drawers are going to be popping in and out of the card, if that makes sense. So th here you can pop these where, wherever you wish to when you're cutting, uh, and pop more more drawers in there. Uh, you just got to make sure, obviously, when you're cutting the two pieces of card, that you've got like a tab and then a slot, you know, for the for the drawers to slot into and to to stick to, basically, if that makes some sense. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I'm making sense. Uh, and you've got your little drawers separately. So here's your little drawers. You see, so these are like your front of your drawers, and then the drawers that are going to slot in and out of your card. Um, so this you're going to cut into two pieces. So two pieces like this. Uh, pop it through the die die cutting machine like that. Uh, this is a separate piece which you need to be cutting as well. So you've got all these pieces together. Uh, I'll show you here because I've just cut cut the pieces of card separately, and then I've popped a little bit of red liner tape just to show you where kind of you stick in. Um, and you can use everyday glue on here. You know, however is the you know the way that you best kind of work. So I've cut out two pieces of this exactly. Uh, the same so if I'd get that just there just so I can just show you again the die just above it so you can see there the die and then this has gone along there to make um, the slots and so forth so what you're doing then is this is where the drawers kind of slot in uh, just behind there and the other piece is exactly the same so with this you need to be going where the lines are so you'll see them you need to be folding them on those lines and scoring them so that you can kind of get that shape because this is going to be your your cupboard your wardrobe kind of door you can see that mechanism there um, and then with this you're going to stick these together so what I've done is I put red liner tape along here just to show you so the, you stick it to this bit here and then on top of it you're going to be gluing again or sticking again because you're going to pop this bit on top which is where your drawers can go on there if you if you want to, or you can decorate this panel however you wish. Um, but yeah, your drawers just kind of slot in through here, and then you've got your tab. So this tab you can see here, I've just popped a little bit of red line tape, bit of glue, everyday glue. Make sure you're scoring this um, nicely so that the mechanism is going to work lovely. Um, and when you're popping these together, when you're going to be um, sticking them together, just make sure can just pop it like this and kind of show you that you're popping it right up to that line there you want it to be right neat right up to that line so you've kind of stuck it down like so so this is going to be stuck like this and you're going to be stuck on the tabs on either side so it's going to be that's going to be slotting through there again I'm going to slot it and I can just show you and then that is going to stick but you need to get it up to this score line here and that needs to be lovely and scored um, yeah, burnishing, so, yeah, burnishing is the key on this. The more you can burnish yeah. it, the better. Obviously, you don't want to get to the point where it's tearing, but burnishing it will make yeah. it really, you know, smooth in its mechanism. Yeah, yeah. So then you can see there kind of thing, how it's going to work. So what I've done is I've actually stuck it together on this one and just popped the artwork on the front just to kind of give you an idea of where we're going with that. So you can see now where that comes into play, can't you? It's on there at the front. And you can see that movement 
just again just round there like so so that, it's that important sense, to note so. as well that those side scores create almost a box shape so that you've got depth within it for, to, because obviously it's holding a lot of stuff inside that card. So you have two score lines. So where Claire's holding it there at the edge, if can I just, yeah, that's yeah, it. There you just go. Hold, it's yeah. almost a box shape and it's yeah. designed that way. Yeah. Good morning, Jacqueline. Yeah, scoring along there, just scoring on these bits as well. But you can see the lines from where the, the die's cut into it there. So it's very, very easy to follow. Um, but there is an instruction sheet as well on the website that you can download as well um, to go over it. But also you can see those, the little <coughs> drawers, you can place them just on there if you want. And then your little mice can be hanging off of there. You've seen on some of the uh, DT's amazing cards. Uh, and then, you know, you can decorate as you wish, you know. So if you, ways if you decorate. <laughs> you open that up and it's naked form, Claire. And then if I can just okay. put this next to it so you can see it. So you see how that works. You've got that very, you know, that very simple mechanism. I remember when I first saw Crafty Little Things as a mechanism, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. I was new to card making when I first came to it. Same as Claire here, yeah, you know. Yeah. And there was that thing of, I don't know if this is going to be a little bit beyond my scope. I don't know if I'm going to... It's so easy to make. It, it, don't be put off by the fact that you've got little bits. Once you've got the notion of just, you know, those tabs, the slot and the tab, that's it. That's all you've got to learn. The rest of it is done for you. The slot and the tab. It's so easy to do. Just burnish. Yeah, that's definitely the key, isn't it? And it, it really is. It, it is easy. Like Carla was saying, you know, um, it, for me, it was. It, it, I looked at it first. I was like, oh, how to do this? And then when I got into it, I was like, oh, this is so cool and so much fun. And it's, it is as, as simple as once you've kind of cut these pieces, which is why I wanted to show you the actual metal dies and how they all kind of place together. So, yeah. Beautiful. It's awesome, done. isn't it? Beautiful. Thank you, Claire. So we wanted to show you that in its full scope before we start actually doing some demos. The reason being is if you try to then start to decorate that panel as well, it becomes like the whole show will be taken up with what that one thing. And actually what we want you to do is see all of the dies uh, as best as we can because there's so many in this. It's so huge, this collection. I don't know, and I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to say anything that can get me into trouble, but for memory serving, I think this has probably got the most dies in it as a bundle. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm pretty sure there's so many. It's huge. Um, Jacqueline says, just got back from walking the dog. I'm like a drowned rat, so it should fit in nicely with the mice. Uh, good morning, Suzanne. Windy Bognoregis. Um, yeah, it's been quite windy here, actually. It's been started to blow a hoolie, to be fair. Right, we're going to go over and have another look at another demo. But before we do that, just to remind those who have just joined us, there's a massive discount today on Crafty Little Things. So if you don't already have it, now is the time to get it because it's got a huge discount on it. So the full bundle you'll find on the website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. The number is 21. No, I'm not going to be able to do this number. 201115. There's three ones. 201115. That is the whole thing. Uh, and you're getting it for 99.99. However, if you use the code CL, uh, CLT20, so Crafty Little Things 20 in capitals, it'll give you a full 20% discount off this. It takes it down to 79.99 for what is, in my opinion, their best ever collection because it is my absolute favourite. I realise we are all different, but I love crafty little things, always have. Right, that's the main collection. Just to give you a very quick reminder, everything can be bought individually and there is a smaller little bundle at the front which encompasses the mice, the three sets of mice and the tools of the trade. And that one is called, I can't remember Miss Taz what the name of it is, Crafty Little Mice? Crafty little mice, I always so remembering the good things. That's 201116, and that is up 4497. Obviously, that goes below the £50 uh, shelf, so it will be a 295 PMP on that. Over to you, Claire, for your next demo, please. Thank you very much, Carla. Right then, let's have a little look at this then, shall we? So what we've got going on here is um, I've started off with obviously my 350 GSM base, a lovely uh, thick cardstock to kind of build on. And you'll notice the edge of this card, it's actually from a different collection, it's from the Shabby Edge dies. Um, so this is um, one of the nested dies that I've used here from a card base because it's just such a pretty kind of uh, edging uh, to that card as you can kind of see there, I love the detail on that. 
So I've scored down from the top obviously, uh, half an inch and popped on my red liner tape. Hopefully this comes off. This is always a thing, isn't it? Let's see, here we go. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> Cold star for me today. Right, so we're gonna tap this alongside the edge here of our multimedia mat, which I just find super duper helpful to work on. Uh, and then we're gonna pop this together like so. So we've got our lovely card base to start working on. Right, from there I've cut down with the different uh, nested dies, the different sizes of course for my mats and layers and popped on a little bit of foam tape already on there so we can get some shadow play going on uh, with our card base. Um, so it's gonna be popped on just like that. So we'll remove this, Where's where is it? There we go, <laughs> got my pokey doll. That's gonna hopefully help me a little bit. Let's see, she says, she says. Right, there we go. So we're gonna remove the tape and pop this on to make our card base. And the papers, the perfect papers are also pretty, all these different colors that work so, so well with this new artwork absolutely loving loving them um, I'm really liking this green it's just so pretty um, it's just a really really lovely lovely kind of would it I don't know what sort of green it's a kind of a I don't know it's, it's kind like of a, a mint, pastely mint green yeah fresh fresh we'll try and green. line that up the best I can without leaning forward remove our foam tape little bits there serenity says good morning crafty friends good morning, morning serenity <laughs> So then I've cut, um, for my next mat and layer, I've just done a white one. So we'll pop that on next. So this is from, like I said, the nested dies. So super easy to do this is. You can quickly cut these and then layer them up for your base. Um, but they just look so, so lovely. I just, like I say, just love the edges. They're, they're just so usable, aren't they? Um, like I say, they are a separate, a separate uh, collection. So you can find them on the website, carnationcrafts.co.uk. Right, let's pop this on top of there. Like so again, trying to quickly pop that there. There we go. <laughs> Not too bad. Beautiful tonal with the green, isn't it? Just look at that already, isn't it? With those papers, those perfect papers. Of course, they're 300 GSM, so they are uh, cardstock, not papers, but it just looks lovely. You can see the shadows already working beautifully on there. Um, so for this card, I've decided to use some of the florals just to show you how you could use these differently. Obviously, you can use these to decorate your craft cupboard, your wardrobe um, here, but I'm going to use them on this base instead and just show you how uh, once you've got, you've got them in your collection, you can just use them to do so many things, so many things. Uh, I've got the little pen part as well here because uh, I felt like doing a little bit of a creative card. We're going to Let's see where we go with this. So I'm gonna get my ball tool and just gonna roll that over there quick, just to kind of break down the fibers to be able to give it some shape because these pens and paintbrushes are just brilliant in this. I mean, you don't even need to do that with this if you don't want to. You could easily um, just work it with your hands as well because of the cut lines that you've got here. They just work so, so well. You can see, you can shape it really, really lovely. Getting. Just as a quick note, the green that's used there is from the gift of giving and you can see where Claire has just been using the pen, that green pen is an identical match. So everything is now working together, all of your collections, the three, those three paper collections all work with these vignettes. The perfect papers just make it so easy, don't they, to work with the artwork, the beautiful they're artwork. Dream. They're a dream. They are fab. So um, I'm going to pop this onto my little mat there, look. So I've just cut that out as well. I popped it on a little bit of foam tape. So I'm just going to build this up first, a little bit of pin flare. Um, obviously this pin flare takes a little bit of time to, to dry, we've spoken about that before. So you might want to make up these little elements before you, um, you, know, you, you come to making the card and putting it together. Um, I do normally, but uh, today, bear with me, oops, what am I doing there? There we go, right, cool. <laughs> so uh, let's place that on there like so, just gently. So it's kind of raised up and lifted again all about the shadows, all about the shadows, as Carla loves, don't you? <laughs> My favourite thing, shadows, as you all know, it's just a really valuable addition that's free. Um, and I think it gives the eye such detail that we don't get necessarily when we have that flat. It's just another element and it's something that we can add to our cards with zero effort. But it makes an enormous difference. I love my florals, as you're probably starting to work out with me. <laughs> and they're beautiful. These, if you love florals, florals then... carnation are a dream, aren't they? Yeah, and they're just so, 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 so pretty. So, so pretty. And these colours, just like with that paper, look. Just look at that. How nice. How lovely. Gay Richardson says, hi, ladies. Love the little mice. We love the little mice. They're so naughty. <laughs> it's the one with the tongue hanging out. I've had a thing from ever when me and my sisters both do it. If we're concentrating, we <laughs> sit with our tongue out. All three of us do it. I don't know if it's a genetic thing, uh, but that mouse reminds me of that. 
<laughs> it's true, isn't it? It's true. I think I do that as well, to be fair, <laughs> when I'm really concentrating, when you're having that moment, isn't it? Because you're in the moment and thinking where you're going with something. I think what the mice give us more than anything is that storytelling, isn't it? It's they, they allow us to tell a tale. You could make full books, full books for your grandchildren with those mice. And when you collect them all together, you know, you could go through the seasons. We've got the little mice who are carol singing. You've got Halloween mice. You've got all the different ways. You could literally go through the seasons and make a book for grandchildren with those mice. I think they're incredibly useful. Uh, as much as I think they're very sweet, they're obviously very symbolic of carnation, um, but they are just a really useful tool. How pretty those florals are. I really <laughs> love crafty little things. <laughs> you really, 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 really do, really, don't you? Yeah, I just... we were chatting about that earlier, weren't we? And saying, to be fair, it's one of the first collections I think I picked up. One of the first ones when I started working for Carnation a few months ago. There's something just about fun. it. I don't know what it is. I, I, I've never really been able to work out why I've got such a, a passion for it, but I love it so much. So just placing that on there just to see where we're going with this. I've just popped a little bit of pin flare on here, um, just to kind of raise it up a little bit, and you can always just you know tweak these. These little leaves and stuff. Remember, if you're trying to fit in an envelope and you're struggling, all of Carnation's dies are snippable, so you can snip into them. If you wanted to take little edges off, you are absolutely welcome to do so. And they do it in such a way that you can't tell that you have cut stuff off because it's designed, they've got pips. Sue Martin says, I have checked out. I hope that means you've gone to the checkout with the mice <laughs> as opposed to that you have completely checked out. Because we like you being here, Sue, so please stay. Uh, but if you have been to check out, then a massive congratulations. Best, best collection. It's, uh, you'll never get tired of playing with crafty little things. That, it's, it's, got, it's got that whimsy, it's got that tongue-in-cheek element to it that I love when Carnation get playful. I love when Carnation get playful. <laughs> and this collection is exactly, it's like Fresh Blooms, isn't it? It's the same thing. It's got that really, really playful element to it. And I love it. Look at that. And we're crafters, aren't we? It's what we do. So it sings to us in that way. Because it's what we do. It's our passion. Beautiful. There we go. How cool is that? A little pen pot and with the paintbrushes in there and everything. And then the florals just at the bottom, just kind of meandering along that bottom there, aren't they? Um, cool. We're going to pop these now on. I want to, like I say, make it a bit, bit of a kind of arty card. Um, we could pop that way if you want to. Let's so the mannequin the and the easel come in a little set called Striker Pose. Uh, and again, everything is individual if you want it. Pam says, Carla, is the 20% off all day? <clears throat> I think it's just one show today and CNC tomorrow. Good question, Pam. I imagine the 20% will be on all day today for, uh, Car for Carnation TV. I'm not sure what they'll do tomorrow, uh, to be honest. I'm not sure how it will work. But certainly for C and C today, is it on the deal of the day today, Taz? Do we know? Miss Taz is going to look. Um, that'll give us a, an idea of time. I think they normally put it on for the full day because people come back to watch. Twenty percent runs for the week. Oh, twenty percent runs for the week. There you go. So anything that is on there. Can I ask as well, Taz? Do you know is the twenty percent? Does that run on the extra colourways on the perfect papers? Just is it just crafty little things papers the deal of the day today is the slip and slide die <laughs> slip and slide more mice i think slip and slide is one of my favorites well that's the wellies and the little mouse on the on the little thing yeah is it got the wheelbarrow with it as well it's got purple vignette on it somewhere my little brain goes in different directions <laughs> i hope that answered your question pam <laughs> probably not <laughs> Right, I pop that just on there, a little easel there. Just put, popped a little pin, bit of pin flare. Uh, you'll have seen I've been using the ball tools, which come as a as a little set. So we've got the largest ball tools. I've just used that first over the back of these, um, just over the different elements, just to kind of break down the fibres a little bit and shape them. And then a little one just to get a little bit more into the detail. Um, you could do that. I'll just show you. So like on the arms and stuff like that, and and the head. You spend many an hour, can't you, shaping shaping these lovely lovely little different um, parts of this card. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of pin flare on to here as well, a little mannequin. And we can pop her on, on there. Oops, there we go. We'll pop her in the middle here so she's posing. <laughs> you do get two mannequins on the striker pose. There is uh, one that sort of looks vaguely more masculine and one that looks more feminine. 
um, and so that one can be painting the other but you can also get one of those little mice and use the paintbrush that come with this collection and get the mouse to be painting something it's a lovely idea to put something on those easels so just doing a quick shape again with this floral because I want to use this at the top now I was thinking about at first I could perhaps could have used it along there just so they're kind of like you know, we've got the florals at the bottom, florals at the top, but... That would make a beautiful bridal card, wouldn't it? As a festoon on top. You could create a gorgeous floral archway with that. They are beautiful florals. It is It is florals that you could use, like Carla's just said, for so many different cards, isn't there? There's just so much you can do with that. Carnation have just messaged and said, Hi Pam, the 20% off will be available for two weeks or while stocks last. Oh. They're generous souls. <laughs> Just pushing into the centre of those flowers to kind of raise those up just a little bit. Um, just pop into them. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. Just shape those buds just a little bit more like that. Just like so. Now, we were talking, well, Carl was talking about how you can snip into these to do different things. There we go. Um, so I'm going to get where there's a cut line here, I think. Let's have a little look, see where we're going to go into this. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think if I... Let me see where we go there. Can we put that? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just talking to myself, just working it out where I want to go with this. So we'll just snip there like that. And then we can place these. Let's see where we could place them. We could place them and make it sort of a bit more of like a little corner perhaps. So that's like, yeah, we could put it underneath. What, what do we think? Maybe. Yeah, that looks nice, isn't it? I like, I like that. <laughs> let's go with that. So I'm going to... And I'll pop a little bit of pin flare on there and pop that in that corner like so and then we'll pop this just kind of so it's coming down the side of the card yeah that was pretty doesn't it these florals like I say are so 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 pretty love them and these colors this new colorway is, is just gorgeous so so lovely with these papers it just works so beautifully hand in hand, don't they, Carla? Yeah, merge these florals in with the old colourway as well, you know, bring both together and just, you could create the most gorgeous set of colours with all of it coming in together. You know, don't don't think that you need to use either one independently, bring it in. You could have the most gorgeous flurry of colour. Just tweaking those little leaves there on the edge so they're just looking like crispy. And <laughs> there we go, look at that, Beautiful. look at those colours absolutely stunning i think this is the thing isn't it with this collection there's something for everybody in it and you have got some masculine elements in there as well as the female elements so you've got the ways of playing and sort of bringing it and drawing it together for all of those cards that we would you know it's for me the dynamic wardrobe is the one that i would say for those really special occasions and then the rest of the collection i would be using it all the time and i do use it all. i love crafty sorry guys i'll say it again if you want to get this collection hold on whisk no no wait miss taz the crafty little things collection is sold out the full set the full bundle has sold out i've just been told the crafty little things collection is crafty little things collection has sold out so that means you can get the little collection at the front i think which will be your little three mice and your tools of the trade that went fast well miss tis taz so the crafty little mice collection that's all three sets of your mice and your tools of the trade uh, which are all the tools that you saw us using there so the everyday glue all of those things that's the show price today of 44.97 it's a 2.95 p and p because you're uh, going uh, sort of under 50 pounds what i will say is if you want the free p and p and you're kind of on the fence about whether to get a pack of perfect papers or whether to get, uh, you know, some pro print today, some glue, any of those things, today's the day to do that, just to whack you over that £50 mark. So we're going to have a look at some finished samples and uh, go through some bits and pieces and we're going to leave you in peace. So I want to just show you some of these again. The main one I want to show you is that dynamic card shape because it's just the mech. I love this collection so much. Look at that. Clever, clever, clever. You know, the thing is, we were all, how excited was everybody with the magic fireplace? And the reason we're so excited with the magic fireplace is because we're getting to do something different as crafters. We get to play with engineering. You know I love my paper engineering. I think it's one of the most 
amazing tricks we can do with paper and card. It just shows us where we can go. I think Crafty Little Things is just as ingenious as the Magic Fireplace. And as I said with the Magic Fireplace, and I'll say it again, as crafters, we're ready. We're hungry for that change in the market. And this gives us it. This fresh blooms, the magic fireplace, those dynamic shapes that do those things. We we love it because it's it's something that gives us power and tools to do something so different and so dynamic. For those of us who don't want to, we still get to craft in the most glorious way with this collection. That is just a perfect card. Thank you very much, Lindsay. It's so pretty, isn't it? This very, very toned down, not messy creative, where it's just been cut in white with that backing paper and it gives us that kind of drawn back element to it. So you've got that beautiful, again, that whimsy, that calmness to it is such a pretty card. That is, do you know what that reminds me of? That just smacks of Jane Austen to me. There's something very Jane Austen about that whole card. And I love that, not least because I am entirely in love with Mr. Darcy when he's played by Colin Firth, just saying love him, love, love him. Love him. He's very handsome. Then we've got this, which has got those gorgeous backing papers. And you've got, remember, comfort of home. Remember the different collections you can bring in. So we've got the backing papers for those. All your backing papers are free and they're so useful to you. That gorgeous light that I love, I can't get in the right direction there. And then the paint spots that we've looked at today stupidly pretty and the gut look at me going all over the place here you've got those beautiful roses that lovely panel remember these background panels that come for the wardrobe they are really important for your backgrounds because that texture in the background gives us a visual cue so when your recipient gets it it's not the thing they notice of course it's not the thing they notice but it is noticeable so it, it finishes the piece it's those finishing points that we look for i love this so much Sue, you're an absolute diamond with this. That storytelling, oh, I am, back to front. Here we go, that storytelling element. Look at that. What I love about this, all those backing papers that have been used, I am gonna go out on a limb and say, I think, am I right in thinking some of those backing papers are from Bundles of Joy? I think some of them are. Isn't that pretty? I don't know, I think they're from bundles. I could be wrong. Absolutely stunning. We have got all of the elements to create the most gorgeous, gorgeous dynamic set. We have unfortunately sold out of bundles of joy. Not surprising. We, we crafted little, craft little things. I've just said bundles of joy in my head, but bundles of joy is probably still available on the website if you want it. Crafted little things has gone, but we have got the mini collection there, which is the three mice, the tools of the trade. You can go and get that if you're in love with the mice. That's 201116. The show price of 44.97 p and p is 2.95 it's on the carnation crafts website which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk a massive huge thank you to miss claire for her demonstrations this morning a massive huge thank you for miss tiztaz for being my carer and for doing such a cracking job at what she does and a massive thank you to you at home for joining us today it has been an absolute pleasure we are back on the 11th and we will see you then i will be back on cnc tomorrow with crafty little things so if you missed it today you should be able to buy it over there on cnc until then take really good care of yourselves and we'll see you soon bye